College. A college, Latin, collegium, is an educational institution or a constituent part of one. A college may be a degree awarding tertiary educational institution, a part of a collegiate or federal university, an institution offering vocational education or a secondary school. In the United States, college may refer to a constituent part of a university or to a degree awarding tertiary educational institution, but generally college and university are used interchangeably, whereas in the United Kingdom, Oceania, South Asia, Southern Africa, and Canada, college may refer to a secondary or high school, a college of further education, a training institution that awards trade qualifications, a higher education provider that does not have university status, often without its own degree awarding powers, or a constituent part of a university. See this comparison of British and American English educational terminology for further information. In ancient Rome a collegium was a club or a society, a group of people living together under a common set of rules, con equals together plus leg equals law or lego equals I choose or I read. Aside from the modern educational context, nowadays the most common use of college, there are various other meanings also derived from the original Latin term, such as electoral college. Within higher education, the term can be used to refer to a sixth form college or college of further education is an educational institution in England, Wales, Northern Ireland, Belize, the Caribbean, Malta, Norway, Brunei, or Southern Africa, among others, where students aged 16 to 19 typically study for advanced school level qualifications, such as A-levels, BTEC, h and or its equivalent and the International Baccalaureate Diploma or school-level qualifications such as GCSEs. In Singapore and India, this is known as a junior college. The municipal government of the city of Paris uses the phrase sixth-form college as the English name for a lycée. In some national education systems, secondary schools may be called colleges or have college as part of their title. In Australia the term college is applied to any private or independent, non-government, primary and, especially, Secondary school is distinct from a state school. Melbourne Grammar School, Cranbrook School, Sydney and the King's School, Parramatta are considered colleges. There has also been a recent trend to rename or create government secondary schools as colleges. In the state of Victoria, some state high schools are referred to as secondary colleges, although the preeminent government secondary school for boys in Melbourne is still named Melbourne High School. In Western Australia, South Australia and the Northern Territory, Colleges used in the name of all state high schools built since the late 1990s, and also some older ones. In New South Wales, some high schools, especially multi-campus schools resulting from mergers, are known as secondary colleges. In Queensland some newer schools which accept primary and high school students are styled state college, but state schools offering only secondary education are called state high school. In Tasmania and the Australian Capital Territory, College refers to the final two years of high school, years 11 and 12, and the institutions which provide this. In this context, college is a system independent of the other years of high school. Here, the expression is a shorter version of matriculation college. In a number of Canadian cities, many government run secondary schools are called collegiates or collegiate institutes, CI, a complicated form of the word college which avoids the usual post secondary connotation. This is because these secondary schools have traditionally focused on academic, rather than vocational, subjects and ability levels, for example, collegiates offered Latin while vocational schools offered technical courses. Some private secondary schools, such as Upper Canada College, Vancouver College, choose to use the word college in their names nevertheless. Some secondary schools elsewhere in the country, particularly ones within the separate school system, may also use the word college or collegiate in their names. In New Zealand the word college normally refers to a secondary school for ages 13 to 17 and college appears as part of the name especially of private or integrated schools. Colleges most frequently appear in the North Island, whereas high schools are more common in the South Island. In South Africa, some secondary schools, especially private schools on the English public school model, have college in their title. Thus no less than six of South Africa's elite seven high schools call themselves college and fit this description. A typical example of this category would be St. John's College. Private schools that specialize in improving children's marks through intensive focus on examination needs are informally called cram colleges. 
In Sri Lanka the word college, known as Vidyalaya in Sinhala, normally refers to a secondary school, which usually signifies above the fifth standard. During the British colonial period a limited number of exclusive secondary schools were established based on English public school model, Royal College Colombo, S. Thomas College, Mount Lavinia, Trinity College, Candy, these along with several Catholic schools, St. Joseph's College, Colombo. St. Anthony's College traditionally carry their name as colleges. Following the start of free education in 1931 large group of central colleges were established to educate the rural masses. Since Sri Lanka gained independence in 1948, many schools that have been established have been named as college. As well as an educational institution, the term can also refer, following its etymology, to any formal group of colleagues set up under statute or regulation, often under a royal charter. Examples are an electoral college, the College of Arms, a College of Canons, and the College of Cardinals. Other collegiate bodies include professional associations, particularly in medicine and allied professions. In the UK, these include the Royal College of Nursing and the Royal College of Physicians. Examples in the United States include the American College of Physicians, the American College of Surgeons, and the American College of Dentists. An example in Australia is the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners. In Australia college may be an institution of tertiary education that is smaller than a university, run independently or as part of a university. Following a reform in the 1980s many of the formerly independent colleges now belong to a larger universities. Referring to parts of a university, there are residential colleges which provide residence for students, both undergraduate and postgraduate, called university colleges. These colleges often provide additional tutorial assistance, and some host theological study. Many colleges have strong traditions and rituals, so are a combination of dormitory style accommodation and fraternity or sorority culture. Most technical and further education institutions, TAFs, which offer certificate and diploma vocational courses, are styled TAF colleges or colleges off AF. Some senior high schools are also referred to as colleges. In Canada, the term college usually refers to a trade school, applied arts slash science slash technology slash business slash health school or community college. These are post-secondary institutions granting certificates, diplomas, associates degree, and in some cases bachelor's degrees. In Quebec, the term is seldom used. The French acronym for public colleges, CEGEP, Collège d'enseignement général et professionnel, College of General and Professional Education is colloquially all collegiate-level institutions specific to the Quebec education system, a step that is required to continue on to university, unless one applies as a mature student, meaning 21 years of age or over, and out of the educational system for at least two years, or to learn a trade. In Ontario and Alberta, there are also institutions which are designated university colleges, as they only grant undergraduate degrees. This is to differentiate between universities, which have both undergraduate and graduate programs and those that do not doubt in contrast to usage in the United States, there is a strong distinction between college and university in Canada. In conversation, one specifically would say either they are going to university, i.e., studying for a three- or four-year degree at a university, or they are going to college, suggesting technical-slash-career training or university transfer courses. The Royal Military College of Canada, a full-fledged degree-granting university, does not follow the naming convention used by the rest of the country, nor does its sister school Royal Military College Sanjan or the now-closed Royal Roads Military College. The term college also applies to distinct entities within a university, usually referred to as federated colleges or affiliated colleges, similar to the residential colleges in the United Kingdom. These colleges act independently but in affiliation or federation with the university that actually grants the degrees. For example, Trinity College was once an independent institution, but later became federated with the University of Toronto, and is now one of its residential colleges, though it remains a degree-granting institution through its Faculty of Divinity. The University of British Columbia has two residential graduate colleges Green College and St. John's College which post-state the university but provide specifist programming, communities and housing. In the case of Memorial University of Newfoundland, located in St. John's, the Cornerbrook campus is called Sir Wilfred Grenfell College. Occasionally, college refers to a subject-specific faculty within a university that, while distinct, are neither federated nor affiliated College of Education.
College of Medicine, College of Dentistry, College of Biological Science among others. There are also universities referred to as art colleges, empowered to grant academic degrees of BFA, PT, MFA, MTS and sometimes collaborative PhD degrees. Some of them have university in their name, NSCAD University, OCAD University and Emily Carr University of Art and Design and others do not. In some Canadian provinces, the word college may also be seen in the proper name of a high school, especially one with a history as a private school. But these institutions would not actually be considered colleges in the more general sense of the term. Online and distance education, e-learning, use college in the name in the British sense, for example, Canada Capstone College. One use of the term college in the American sense is by the Canadian Football League, CFL, which calls its annual entry draft the Canadian College Draft. The draft is restricted to players who qualify under CFL rules as non-imports essentially, players who were raised in Canada. See the main CFL article for a more detailed definition. Because a player's designation as non-import is not affected by where he plays post-secondary football, the category includes former players at U.S. college football programs, universities in the Canadian sense, as well as CIS football programs at Canadian universities. In Chile, the term college is usually used in the name of some bilingual schools, like Santiago College, St. George's College etc. International Association of Tourists and Travelers College. International Association Tourists and Travelers is a non-commercial, non-political and non-industrial organization, which is created to develop tourism in Georgia. Collegio, in Greek Kappa Omicron Lambda Lambda Gamma Iota Omicron, refers to the centers of post-lyceum education, in Greek Kappa Nu Tau Rho Omicron Mu Epsilon Tau Alpha Lambda U Epsilon Kappa Epsilon Iota Alpha Kappa Sigma Epsilon Kappa Pi Alpha Delta Epsilon U Epsilon Sigma Eta Sigma, abbreviated as Kema, which are principally private and belong to the Greek post-secondary education system. Some of them have links to EU or U.S. higher education institutions or accreditation organizations, such as the NISC. Collegio, or Collegia in plural, may also refer to private non-tertiary schools, such as the Athens College. In Hong Kong, the term college is used by tertiary institutions as either part of their names or to refer to a constituent part of the university, such as the colleges in the college at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, or to a residence hall of a university, such as St. John's College, University of Hong Kong. Many older secondary schools have the term college as part of their names. The modern system of education was heavily influenced by the British starting in 1835. In India, the term college is commonly reserved for institutions that offer degrees at year 12, junior college, similar to American high schools, and those that offer the bachelor's degree. Some colleges, however, offer programs up to Ph.D. level. Generally, colleges are located in different parts of a state and all of them are affiliated to a regional university. The colleges offer programs leading to degrees of that university. Colleges may be either autonomous or non autonomous. Autonomous colleges are empowered to establish their own syllabus and conduct and assess their own examinations. In non autonomous colleges, examinations are conducted by the university, at the same time for all colleges under its affiliation. There are several hundred universities, and each university has affiliated colleges, often a large number. The first liberal arts and sciences college in India was CMS College Kotayan, Kerala, established in 1817, and the Presidency College, Kolkata, also 1817, initially known as Hindu College. The first college for the study of Christian theology and ecumenical inquiry was Sarampuri College, 1818. The first missionary institution to impart Western-style education in India was the Scottish Church College, Calcutta, 1830. The first Commerce and Economics College in India was Sydenham College, Mumbai, 1913. In Ireland the term college is normally used to describe an institution of tertiary education. University students often say they attend college rather than university. Until 1989, no university provided teaching or research directly, they were formally offered by a constituent college of the university. There are a number of secondary education institutions that traditionally use the word college in their names. These are either older, private schools, such as Belvedere College, Gonzaga College, Castlenock College, and St. Michael's College, or what were formerly a particular kind of secondary school. These secondary schools, 
formerly known as technical colleges, were renamed community colleges, but remained secondary schools. The country's only ancient university is the University of Dublin. Created during the reign of Elizabeth I, it is modeled on the collegiate universities of Cambridge and Oxford. However, only one constituent college was ever founded, hence the curious position of Trinity College Dublin today, although both are usually considered one and the same. The university and college are completely distinct corporate entities with separate and parallel governing structures. Among more modern foundations, the National University of Ireland, founded in 1908, consisted of constituent colleges and recognized colleges until 1997. The former are now referred to as constituent universities, institutions that are essentially universities in their own right. The National University can trace its existence back to 1850 and the creation of the Queen's University of Ireland and the creation of the Catholic University of Ireland in 1854. From 1880, the degree awarding roles of these two universities was taken over by the Royal University of Ireland which remained until the creation of the National University in 1908 and Queen's University Belfast. The state's two new universities, Dublin City University and University of Limerick, were initially National Institute for Higher Education Institutions. These institutions offered university-level academic degrees and research from the start of their existence and were awarded university status in 1989 in recognition of this. Third-level technical education in the state has been carried out in the Institutes of Technology, which were established from the 1970s as regional technical colleges. These institutions have delegated authority which entitles them to give degrees and diplomas from Quality and Qualifications Ireland, QQI, in their own names. A number of private colleges exist such as Dublin Business School providing undergraduate and postgraduate courses validated by QQI and in some cases by other universities. Other types of college include colleges of education, such as the Church of Ireland College of Education. These are specialist institutions, often linked to a university, which provide both undergraduate and postgraduate academic degrees for people who want to train as teachers. A number of state-funded further education colleges exist, which offer vocational education and training in a range of areas from business studies and information and communications technology to sports injury therapy. These courses are usually one, two or less often three years in duration and are validated by QQI at levels 5 or 6, or for the Tech Higher National Diploma Award, which is a level 6 sevenths qualification, validated by Edexcel. There are numerous private colleges, particularly in Dublin and Limerick which offer both further and higher education qualifications. These degrees and diplomas are often certified by foreign universities slash international awarding bodies and are aligned to the national framework of qualifications at level 6, 7 and 8. In Israel, any non-university higher learning facility is called a college. Institutions accredited by the Council for Higher Education in Israel, CHE, to confer a bachelor's degree are called academic colleges. These colleges, at least four for 2012, may also offer master's degrees and act as research facilities. There are also over 20 teacher training colleges or seminaries, most of which may award only a Bachelor of Education, B. Ed. degree. Following the Portuguese usage, the term college, colegio, in Macau has traditionally been used in the names for private, and non-governmental, pre-university educational institutions, which correspond to Form 1 to Form 6 level tiers. Such schools are usually run by the Roman Catholic Church or missionaries in Macau. Examples include Chan Sui Ki Perpetual Help College, Uwat Wa College, and Sacred Heart Canusian College. The constituent colleges of the former University of New Zealand, such as Canterbury University College, have become independent universities. Some halls of residence associated with New Zealand universities retain the name of college, particularly at the University of Otago which although brought under the umbrella of the University of New Zealand, already possessed university status and degree awarding powers. The institutions formerly known as teacher training colleges now style themselves College of Education. Some universities, such as the University of Canterbury, have divided their university into constituent administrative colleges, the College of Arts containing departments that teach arts, humanities, and social sciences. College of Science containing science departments, and so on. This is largely modeled on the Cambridge model, discussed above. Like the United Kingdom, some professional bodies in New Zealand style themselves as colleges, for example, 
the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons, the Royal Australasian College of Physicians. Secondary school is often referred to as college and the term is used interchangeably with high school. This is reflected in the names of many secondary schools such as Rangi Toto College, New Zealand's largest secondary. In the Philippines, colleges usually refer to institutions of learning that grant degrees but whose scholastic fields are not as diverse as that of a university, University of Santo Tomas, University of the Philippines, Ateneo de Manila University, De La Salle University. Far Eastern University, and AMA University, such as the San Beda College which specializes in law, AMA Computer College whose campuses are spread all over the Philippines which specializes in information and computing technologies, and the Mapuma Institute of Technology which specializes in engineering, or to component units within universities that do not grant degrees but rather facilitate the instruction of a particular field, such as a College of Science and College of Engineering among many other colleges off University of the Philippines. A state college may not have the word college on its name, but may have several component colleges, or departments. Thus, the Eulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology is a state college by classification. Usually, the term college is also thought of as a hierarchical demarcation between the term university, and quite a number of colleges seek to be recognized as universities as a sign of improvement in academic standards. Colegio de San Juan de Latran, San Beda College, and increase in the diversity of the offer degree programs, called courses. For private colleges, this may be done through a survey and evaluation by the Commission on Higher Education and Accrediting Organizations, as was the case of Urios College which is now the father Saturnino Urios University. For state colleges, it is usually done by a legislation by the Congress or Senate. In common usage, Going to college simply means attending school for an undergraduate degree, whether it's from an institution recognized as a college or a university. When it comes to referring to the level of education, college is the term more used to be synonymous to tertiary or higher education. A student who is or has studied his slash her undergraduate degree at either an institution with college or university in its name is considered to be going to or have gone to college. Presently in Portugal, the term colegio. College, is normally used as a generic reference to a private, non-government, school that provides from basic to secondary education. Many of the private schools include the term colegio in their name. Some special public schools, usually of the boarding school type also include the term in their name, with a notable example being the Colegio Militar, Military College. The term colegio interno, literally internal college is used specifically as a generic reference to a boarding school. Until the 19th century, a colegio was usually a secondary or pre-university school, of public or religious nature, where the students usually lived together. A model for these colleges was the Royal College of Arts and Humanities, founded in Coimbra by King John III of Portugal in 1542. The term college in Singapore is generally only used for pre-university educational institutions called junior colleges, which provide the final two years off secondary education equivalent to sixth form in British terms or grades 11 to 12 in the American system. Since January 1, 2005, the term also refers to the three campuses of the Institute of Technical Education with the introduction of the collegiate system, in which the three institutions are called IT College East, IT College Central, and IT College West respectively. The term university is used to describe higher education institutions offering locally conferred degrees. Institutions offering diplomas are called polytechnics, while other institutions are often referred to as institutes and so forth. Although the term college is hardly used in any context at any university in South Africa, some non-university tertiary institutions call themselves colleges. These include teacher training colleges, business colleges and wildlife management colleges. C. List of universities in South Africa hash private colleges and universities, list of post-secondary institutions in South Africa. There are several professional and vocational institutions that offer post-secondary education without granting degrees that are referred to as colleges. This includes the Sri Lanka Law College, the many technical colleges and teaching colleges. Further education, FE. Colleges and sixth form colleges are institutions providing further education to students over 16. Some of these also provide higher education courses, see below. In the context of secondary education, college is used in the names of some private schools, for example Eton College and Winchester College. 
college. In higher education, a college is normally a provider that does not hold university status, although it can also refer to a constituent part of a collegiate or federal university or a grouping of academic faculties or departments within a university. Traditionally the distinction between colleges and universities was that colleges did not award degrees while universities did, but this is no longer the case with NCG having gained taught degree awarding powers, the same as some universities on behalf of its colleges, and many of the colleges of the University of London holding full degree awarding powers and being effectively universities. Most colleges, however, do not hold their own degree awarding powers and continue to offer higher education courses that are validated by universities or other institutions that can award degrees. In England, over 60% of the higher education providers directly funded by HEFs, 208-340, are sixth for more further education colleges, often termed colleges of further and higher education, along with 17 colleges of the University of London, one university college, 100 universities, and 14 other providers, six of which use college in their name. Overall, this means over two-thirds of state-supported higher education providers in England are colleges of one form or another. Many private providers are also called colleges, for example the New College of the Humanities and St. Patrick's College, London. Colleges within universities vary immensely in their responsibilities. The large constituent colleges of the University of London are effectively universities in their own right. Colleges in some universities, including those of the University of the Arts London and smaller colleges of the University of London, run their own degree courses but do not award degrees. Those at the University of Roehampton provide accommodation and pastoral care as well as delivering teaching on university courses. Those at Oxford and Cambridge deliver some teaching on university courses as well as providing accommodation and pastoral care and those in Durham, Kent, Lancaster and York provide accommodation and pastoral care but do not normally participate in formal teaching. The legal status of these colleges also varies widely, with University of London colleges being independent corporations and recognized bodies, Oxford colleges, colleges of the University of the Highlands and Islands, UHI and some Durham colleges being independent corporations and listed bodies, most Durham colleges being owned by the university but still listed bodies, and those of other collegiate universities not having formal recognition. When applying for undergraduate courses through UCAS, University of London colleges are treated as independent providers, colleges of Oxford, Cambridge, Durham and Dewey are treated as locations within the universities that can be selected by specifying a campus code in addition to selecting the university and colleges of other universities are not recognized. The UWE and the University of Wales Trinity St. David, UGT, both include further education colleges. However, while the UWE colleges integrate FEI and HEI provision, UGT maintains a separation between the university campuses, Lampeter, Carmarthen and Swansea, and the two colleges, Collex Sirkar and Collex Seridigen, and Beagleg is Welsh for college which although part of the same group are treated as separate institutions rather than colleges within the university. A university college is an independent institution with the power to award taught degrees, but which has not been granted university status. University college is a protected title that can only be used with permission, although note that University College London, University College, Oxford, and University College, Durham are colleges within their respective universities and not university colleges. In the case of UCL holding full degree awarding powers that set it above a university college, while University College Birmingham is a university in its own right and also not a university college. In the United States, there are over 7,021 colleges and universities. A college in the U.S. formally denotes a constituent part of a university. But in popular usage, the word college is the generic term for any post-secondary undergraduate education. Americans go to college after high school, regardless of whether the specific institution is formally a college or a university. Some students choose to dual enroll, by taking college classes while still in high school. The word and its derivatives are the standard terms used to describe the institutions and experiences associated with American post-secondary undergraduate education. Students must pay for college before taking classes. Some borrow the money by loans, and some students fund their educations with cash, scholarships, or grants, or some combination of any two or more of those payment methods. In 2011, the state or federal government subsidized $8,000 to $100,000 for each undergraduate degree. For state-owned schools, called public universities, 
The subsidy was given to the college, with a student benefiting from lower tuition. The state subsidized on average 50% of public university tuition. Colleges vary in terms of size, degree, and length of stay. Two year colleges, also known as junior or community colleges, usually offer an associate's degree, and four year colleges usually offer a bachelor's degree. Often, these are entirely undergraduate institutions, although some have graduate school programs. Four year institutions in the U.S. that emphasize a liberal arts curriculum are known as liberal arts colleges. Until the 20th century, liberal arts, law, medicine, theology, and divinity were about the only form of higher education available in the United States. These schools have traditionally emphasized instruction at the undergraduate level, although advanced research may still occur at these institutions. While there is no national standard in the United States, the term university primarily designates institutions that provide undergraduate and graduate education. A university typically has as its core and its largest internal division an undergraduate college teaching a liberal arts curriculum, also culminating in a bachelor's degree. What often distinguishes a university is having, in addition, one or more graduate schools engaged in both teaching graduate classes and in research. Often these would be called a school of law or school of medicine, but may also be called a college of law or a faculty of law. An exception has been since University Indiana, which is styled and chartered as a university even though almost all of its academic programs lead only to two-year associate degrees. Some institutions, such as Dartmouth College and the College of William and Mary, have retained the term college in their names for historical reasons. In one unique case, Boston College and Boston University, the former located in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts and the latter located in Boston, Massachusetts, are completely separate institutions. Usage of the terms varies among the states. In 1996, for example, Georgia changed all of its four year institutions previously designated as colleges to universities, and all of its vocational technology schools to technical colleges. The terms university and college do not exhaust all possible titles for an American institution of higher education. Other options include Polytechnic. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Institute of Technology, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Academy, United States Military Academy, Union, Cooper Union, Conservatory, New England Conservatory, and School, Juilliard School. In colloquial use, they are still referred to as college when referring to their undergraduate studies. The term college is also, as in the United Kingdom, used for a constituent semi-autonomous part of a larger university but generally organized on academic rather than residential lines. For example, at many institutions, the undergraduate portion of the university can be briefly referred to as the college, such as the College of the University of Chicago, Harvard College at Harvard, or Columbia College at Columbia, while at others, such as the University of California, Berkeley, each of the faculties may be called a college, the College of Engineering the College of Nursing, and so forth. There exist other variants for historical reasons, for example, Duke University, which was called Trinity College until the 1920s, still calls its main undergraduate subdivision Trinity College of Arts and Sciences. Some American universities, such as Princeton, Rice, and Yale have established residential colleges, sometimes, as at Harvard, the first to establish such a system in the 1930s, known as houses along the lines of Oxford or Cambridge. Unlike the Oxbridge colleges, but similarly to Durham, these residential colleges are no autonomous legal entities nor are they typically much involved in education itself, being primarily concerned with room, board, and social life. At the University of Michigan, University of California, San Diego and the University of California, Santa Cruz, however, each of the residential colleges does teach its own core writing courses and has its own distinctive set of graduation requirements. Many U.S. universities have placed increased emphasis on their residential colleges in recent years. This is exemplified by the creation of new colleges at Ivy League schools such as Yale University and Princeton University, and efforts to strengthen the contribution of the residential colleges to student education, including through a 2016 task force at Princeton on residential colleges. The founders of the first institutions of higher education in the United States were graduates of the University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge. The small institutions they founded would not have seemed to them like universities, they were tiny and did not offer the higher degrees in medicine and theology. Furthermore, they were not composed of several small colleges. Instead, 
the new institutions felt like the Oxford and Cambridge colleges they were used to small communities, housing and feeding their students, with instruction from residential tutors, as in the United Kingdom, described above. When the first students graduated, these colleges assumed the right to confer degrees upon them, usually with authority, for example, the College of William and Mary has a royal charter from the British monarchy allowing it to confer degrees while Dartmouth College has a charter permitting it to award degrees as are usually granted in either of the universities, or any other college in our realm of Great Britain. The leaders of Harvard College, which granted America's first degrees in 1642, might have thought of their college as the first of many residential colleges that would grow up into a new Cambridge University. However, over time, few new colleges were founded there, and Harvard grew and added higher faculties. Eventually, it changed its title to university, but the term college had stuck and colleges have arisen across the United States. In U.S. usage, the word college embodies not only a particular type of school, but has historically been used to refer to the general concept of higher education when it is not necessary to specify a school, as in going to college or college savings accounts offered by banks. In a survey of more than 2,000 college students in 33 states and 156 different campuses, the U.S. Public Interest Research Group found the average student spends as much as $1,200 each year on textbooks and supplies alone. By comparison, the group says that's the equivalent of 39% of tuition and fees at a community college, and 14% of tuition and fees at a four-year public university. In addition to private colleges and universities, the U.S. also has a system of government-funded, public universities. Many were founded under the Morrill Land Grant Colleges Act of 1862. A movement had arisen to bring a form of more practical higher education to the masses, as many politicians and educators wanted to make it possible for all young Americans to receive some sort of advanced education. The Morrill Act made it possible for the new Western states to establish colleges for the citizens. Its goal was to make higher education more easily accessible to the citizenry of the country, specifically to improve agricultural systems by providing training and scholarship in the production and sales of agricultural products, and to provide formal education in agriculture, home economics, mechanical arts, and other professions that seemed practical at the time. The act was eventually extended to allow all states that had remained with the Union during the American Civil War, and eventually all states, to establish such institutions. Most of the colleges established under the Morrill Act have since become full universities, and some are among the elite of the world. Selection of a four-year college as compared to a two-year junior college, even by marginal students such as those with a C-plus grade average in high school and set scores in the mid-800s, increases the probability of graduation and confers substantial economic and social benefits. The term college is mainly used by private or independent secondary schools with advanced level, upper sixth formers, and also polytechnic colleges which confer diplomas only. A student can complete secondary education, International General Certificate of Secondary Education, IGCSE, at 16 years and proceed straight to a polytechnical college or they can proceed to advanced level, 16 to 19 years, and obtain a General Certificate of Education, GCE. Certificate which enables them to enroll at a university, provided they have good grades. Alternatively, with lower grades the GCE certificate holders will have an added advantage over their GCSE counterparts if they choose to enroll at a polytechnical college. Some schools in Zimbabwe choose to offer the International Baccalaureate Studies as an alternative to the GCSE and GCE. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.